Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have some information I'd like to read to you because many of you may not see this link in the comments and you may end up seeing it on some other channel. It's Monday, November the 19th and it is 5.45 p.m. and I know I'm probably just a little bit behind other people but I know that many of you are not subscribed to them and I don't know if you've been online doing all this research you can but I want to read this for those who are concerned and have not had time to get on and do a bunch of research okay this is um, and this does not surprise me a bit the Department of Defense or DOD is furious over the hot musket leaks operation hot musket leaks all right this is very hard to read so here, let me check my position pull it up a little closer all right here we go this is teeny tiny print the De department of defense has entered damage control made in response to online leaks that revealed the existence of operation hot musket a multi-agency effort to covertly militarize the U.S.-Mexican border. Well, you know, why should that be a secret? It, it's what we ought to have been doing anyway. Anyway, I'll move on. News of Hot Musket first surfaced last week on the YouTube channel Marfugal TV the operator of which hosts radio style call-in broadcast for listeners to share information. One caller shared a copy of a secret military deployment order, and from that moment, additional details on the military secret op have spiraled across the Internet. Oh, brother. Hot Musket's degree of subterfuge is unparalleled in military history. Soldiers have been sworn to secrecy. Their cell phones have been confiscated or had the SIM cards removed. And they've been threatened under Article 90 of the USMJ to avoid all contact with non-military friends and family for the duration of the hot musket deployment. I believe that one video, I sh the, sh the one I shared this morning, I think maybe the guy said that on there. But anyway, I'll move on. If current information is accurate, the assets include not only troops, but also tanks, infantry, See, here we are. Uh, I'm not even going to read that. Well, it's on here for anybody. I'm going to put the link. So, infantry, fighting vehicles, self-propelled artillery units. Maybe it'll scare them back and there won't have to be bloodshed. Multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS and Patriot Air Defense Batteries. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure a lot of y'all know. Our source, an active duty colonel in the intelligence community, insists Hot Musket is authentic. Although he refused to comment on the purpose of the immense military buildup, and he may not know, he said the Department of Defense and the Pentagon are fuming over the online leaks. Heads are spinning and rolling. Seasoned officers are getting chewed out left and right. Some have been relieved of command or reassigned. They believe three soldiers are responsible for the leaks. And right now, they're trying to identify and isolate those individuals. I do not believe 
I'm suspect because they're pretty sure the leaks came from enlisted ranks, not from officers. Why would you even say that? If caught, I'm sure they'll be tried for treason, our source said. Treason. And, and I don't blame them. I mean, I just don't even understand why. I don't know. M maybe I'm wrong. Let me move on. Asked whether broadcasters are in jeopardy. That, that would be me. I'm broadcasting too. He said the Pentagon has no interest in prosecuting alternative media as already the information has been disseminated across thousands of social media outlets. The info's out there now. Their primary focus is finding the original leakers. But the government has launched an operation to counter leaked intelligence. Now listen to this. He claims a Pentagon cyber infiltration team has been tasked with creating a myriad, that's thousands, of fictitious YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook accounts to debunk Hot Musket. Moreover, government-sponsored websites such as Snopes and PolitiFact received cash payments in exchange for mocking Hot Musket researchers. Yeah, that's what they do. They're really good at it. That Snopes is a family of atheists. I've researched them. In the coming weeks, you'll see channels popping up all over the place dedicated to discrediting hot musket talk. Lots of negative comments and tweets. That's how they hope to shut down disclosure of the mission, our source said. Really? I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to believe it. We've already heard the truth. This channel will put out the truth, and I feel in my heart, as do many others, that this is legit. We already know it. They're a little late in the game. They should have put out some kind of a, a, a word the president should have put out some kind of a word that I am taking action at the border. We are using trained United States military personnel to keep this in check. Period. No need for all the this. Why keep it a secret from the pub from us? Why? I think there's more behind it than that. I think George Soros paid those people to come up here, but he's not alone. He just has a lot of money. I just feel it's it's an excuse to enact those laws that George Bush signed into the Patriot Act that's going to allow martial law and they will be able to legally take your guns. I could be way out of line. I just think they're making a really big deal out of trying to keep it a secret that the military is going to go to the border. What do y'all think? Leave your comments in the, in the comments and we'll discuss it. I could be way off base. I hope I I hope I'm wrong. Look, I don't want bad stuff to happen. I'm not some kind of a crazy person. Oh, this is my I plead the blood of Jesus over 
over all of us. This is here uh, for this place, but I only sleep in this now. My friend sent me this. This is one of them shirts. Uh, uh, the mart uh, uh, Voice of the Martyrs, I think, sold them. This is what they would mark on people's doors. And on the back, it says, I am Nazarene, because that's what it means. I am a Nazarene. I'm a Christian. So it's really huge on me. So I put, I plead the blood of Jesus over, let's see, all residents, patients, pets, all staff too, every night. Some of the letters are coming off, but like I said, I normally sleep in it, but I put it on today because I was really cold and it's a nice thick shirt. So anyway, that's what my shirt says. Um... I'm just going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you. And I pray that you are all rapture ready. Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21 verse 36. And I plead the blood of Jesus over all of your devices, too, so they'll keep working. My friend says she has not been able to click on the links that I keep sending her. She has to go round about and type it all in. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to keep people from getting the information. I just don't get that if it's just about defending the border. Do you? Let me know what you think. All right, just keep it clean and be nice. Okay? All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later.